Hey guys, welcome back to Shredcraft RC. I'm Cam, and today we are digging a little deeper into the Scalish build. So, as you can see, I got my RC Arlos E36 body here repainted. Uh, I painted the outside just because, you know, freshen it up. And then I drew kind of these wild shapes filigree style on the computer and cut it out. And I think that came out pretty good. And then I'm still trying to figure out how to mount the carbon fiber hood here. And then the engine bay version 2 coming along. So, the other little thing I've been working on is kind of a rear mount setup. I don't know if it's going to stay like that, but this is a plate of titanium in here. And then that's just bolted to the plate, but it also works as the body mount. So there is the rear mount ESC, so I may try and drop that so it's a little more realistic. Normally it would sit in here and have ducting down to the radiator. So, you know, it'd be this deep in the car. But all ideas to play with. So that's what we're going to do on this episode and kind of show you some of the things I've done. So this is what it looks like with the body off. Have the Mile High RC FD lights and then the digital dashboard down there as well. So not a lot of room back here for a rear radiator but I'm going to see if I can make that a little better. Painted the other seat. Figured I should have two seats in here. See what happens next. All right, here getting some work done on the scale build and kind of got this front cowl together here. Uh, trying to figure out a way to cover this magnet. The magnet is actually going to be the latch for the hood. And the fitment's definitely not perfect, but uh, hey, handmade carbon hood. Can't complain. So that's on there. And then on the rear here, I've got the radiator dropped down to a little more realistic position. We'll say those are cooler fans. And then got some mesh there, a couple stickers, and yeah. So this is coming along really nice. I'm excited to reveal it. Haven't really shown anyone pictures or anything. This was a cool little touch of some burnt titanium to match the titanium in the rear tray. And then uh, working on a few things here. Maybe a battery for the engine bay, some other scalish accessories. I'll show you what it looks like when get it mounted up and some of these other little details wrapped up. Here's kind of what it looks like with some lights. And then the dashboard lit up in there. Daylights. This was another cool thing I did was I put a switch on the lights so I can just hit this button, turn them off, turn it back on right from the remote. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I'm actually using S13 light buckets, front and rear. So that's why they aren't uh, exactly E36 lights. But I think they'll work. And then I'll show you underneath the body and how I got those in there and lined up. And then these are the Mile High RC FD lights. So if I can get that glare out of there, when I get on throttle, they'll turn green. Pretty cool little touch. Body is off here and you can kind of see I, where I glued those light buckets in and then ran the harness up to a splitter 
that meets up with the front lights. If I was smart, I would have used red tail lights, but I can add those later. And then the headlight harness, there's the engine bay glued in and the rear body post with the rear mount in there. And then here's the car, the battery up high, ESC in the back. There's a better view of that digital dash. My high RC, FD lights, and then the front end here. So, trying to think of some more little scale accessories to add to that engine bay. And I will fill you in if anything else happens. Hope you guys liked those little clips. Had to just do a quick test, see if uh, everything was working right. But yeah, getting a little closer to finish this thing up. And we got the Mansuri in two weeks here. So um, yeah, I got the engine, the engine bay just about done. This is all handmade carbon. Got the driver in there. I think he's a Star Wars character. And then the hand forged carbon dash, the Mile High RC speedometer, Mile High RC 3D printed seats, and then I put the budget electronics in here. I got the uh, rear radiator set up, and the vents, the S13 body kit on the RC Arlos E36, and then all the wiring and stuff um, is what's left to just tidy up and clean up all that stuff. So we'll continue on. And I just want to say thanks for watching the, the scalish builds. I'll be sure to get some footage of this thing on track for the Matsuri because that's when I will debut it and start getting this outside paint scratched up a little bit. So excited to see what it will look like after it runs some doors. I want to say uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Hit that thumbs up if you like what you see. And be sure to check back on the next one. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.